Oh, that is definitely you. <laughs> you look like you're working at a casino. <laughs> Back in the 60s. All right, welcome back guys. Um, this weekend we didn't have that bad in sales. We had, we just mailed out uh, 13 packages, mm -hmm. which isn't bad, that's usual for us, right? Yeah. Um, today we are at the City Mission. We haven't been here in a while. The prices are usually cheap here. All right, let's get in and see what we find for resale. All right, it's nice out, but it is windy. You don't have to hear the ruffling of my coat anymore. <laughs> people here. We have down here Japan. Made in Japan. That's pretty though, look. I like that green. That's not a bad price actually. Hmm. One ninety nine. I'm guessing that's one ninety nine. Then three ninety nine. Yeah, the whole set. All right, that's going in. Take a look at this fish. It's ceramic, made in China. Kind of looks Portugal to me. This plate, that's pretty. It's hand painted. Oh, there's no marks on it. It's only a dollar. My God. Another teapot. It looks nice, hand painted. There's no mark on it though. Mm. I like the roses and that transition with the green to white. I'm sorry. Cards in the way. This is pottery. Oh. Hmm. A little paperweight. <clears throat> what about this one, Michael? Oh, we got a chip there, though. Mm. We have an olive dish. Oh, that's a little trinket dish. It's our resin. That's from Claire's. It's most likely um, Cinderella, a hummingbird. That's cute. Ooh. I like these. You have some chips there. Uh, opalescent in it. I think it's opalescent. Is it cloudy? Yeah, those have a lot of damage. I would even pick up one. A pottery pig made in China. What's the name of this? Is that Otagiri? I know that inside, I remember. inside would have a mermaid. <clears throat> oh, what? A mermaid or a horse? Mm -hmm. It'd be painted gold. Oh, here's another one. These are all chipped up. All right. Take a look at some baskets. Maybe we'll find a longer burger. This one has a liner. Made in China. That one has some apples. This one down here with the handles. Hmm. I think that was Michael. What are you breaking? <laughs> All right, nothing in the clear. 
Ooh, we have some crystal. Wow, that's pretty. How much is that? Two for $4. I wonder if that's Mikasa. Let's see if there's any more crystal. About this one. Plastic. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, it's light. I don't just know about that. I don't think it's um, hand blown. It's still pretty though. Look at the design on the bottom. Four dollars. Yeah. I'm still looking at baskets. Ooh, this one's heavy. All right, Let's see what we have over here. This bird dish or bowl. First, maybe I thought it was a Lennox, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's pretty, though. <clears throat> hmm. It's $5. I'm going to leave that. There's glass for you. Ooh. It's $3 each. Oh. You know, I saw some at Salvation Army, but they were all chipped. Yeah. I don't know much about them. It's most likely um, China. Which isn't bad, but... Yeah. Ooh, look at the blue roses. Now I know Pier One made these type of decanters. I don't think it is though. Spain. Oh, that's heavy. Made in Spain. What about this? Mm. I would say if it was made in, if it was made in Italy, it would be um, Scavo. That texture right there. Pretty bird. All right. Ooh. Say something gold. <laughs> uh, Six ninety nine. Did find these, Did find these uh, little Inesco ballerinas. Ooh, this one's broken. It has the tag on it. Oh, the original tag, yeah. So I'm going to take a tag off put it on this one. That's a good idea. <laughs> oh, I see some black glass. How much is that? A dollar? No markings. Put that in. That's pretty. I just noticed the chips on it. Down here we have some, I don't want to say brass, is there a pair? I don't see a pair of them. Oh, I like that. What's that? Uh, art pottery. Oh, is it just a studio? Yeah. That's nice. Ooh. Something. It's the uh, the moon the moonstone mm. little dish for a dollar. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice. I think I'll get that. It's only a dollar ninety nine. See what they have in the. I was gonna say Christmas um kitchen. Oh, have the brown drip glaze. Some stoneware. Hmm. Maybe we'll find some Pyrex. I think these are for kebabs. Wine stopper. Copper wisp. Whisk. <laughs> These are pretty uh, purple glasses. Mm. Has the gold, the gold on the top. Um, I don't know about these. really cloudy. I always have trouble getting cloudiness out of glasses, so. Bubbly. Little pasta bowls. dishes are uh, of a Starbucks mug Ooh. Las Vegas um, it says 2006 underneath so it's older I think I'll take that for a dollar what about these pottery mugs it has a name on it Can't read the V and O. Not that one. It has a cushion underneath. Let's peel back the cushion. Hmm? Peel back. <laughs> Japan. Japan. Uh, that could be Otagiri, but it's just one mug. Hmm. If you don't like my driving, stay off sidewalk. <laughs> Anything else? What about this bird? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yeah, okay. Royal crown, that's pretty. I like those birds. I still want to find a Death Wish mug. What about these spoons? Hand painted spoons. Three for oh, so a dollar each. Yeah. Um. <laughs> dollar and change. Yep. <laughs> I mean, a little scratch there, but that'll stop them putting that in. Ooh, we're finding some stuff. I think this is from Things Remembered. Probably. <laughs> We used to work there when we were younger. Ooh, lemonade. So I don't know Pitcher. if that's new, modern, or I know. old. Bigger. What is it? A restaurant wear? Yeah, Buffalo, China. See the back. Yeah, Buffalo, China. There's always a serial number underneath the Buffalo. 9915. Oh, how much does it go for? I don't know. Ones without design, like 25, some that higher, 
um, what's this one here? That's 67. Cafe Red. Yeah, that has a pretty mm -hmm. sign around it. I don't see There's damage. A little bit of scratches, but. Whoops. I think we'll put this in our little cart. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> we have down here the working kitchen uh, I have a cute bear down here Aye. no markings that's, pl that's plastic over here Kalua. Looks like it has a little bit of age to it. And it's from 2021. <laughs> you know the kind with the bread? The King Crown. King Crown. I don't know, it's not. Yeah. It has a. It could be something though. It's a oh, there's a set. I'm just that in. Oh, and the tray. This little tray here. Hmm. I don't know this one. I'll look it up. Right over here we have, I believe this is anchor hocking. Not too much resale value in that. Then we have the bubble pattern. There's a more rare color that sells for a lot. I want to say a lot, but a lot more than the blue one. This ashtray. Salad dishes. This one has a rooster on it. Oh, that's heavy. I feel like I looked at that before. the Fastoria. The nappy dish doesn't really sell for too much. <laughs> the crystal pinwheel. The star in the middle. Yeah, they're usually all chipped. Yeah, so I found out what that gold trim thing was. It was a Jeanette from Pernod class. Oh, it doesn't really go for that much. Oh, 15. That's including a cup? Yeah. Ah, oh, well. At least we know for next time. Maybe we'll find some silver. I usually don't hear for some reason. That covered dish there. Look at this one. $6.99. That's not a bad price for that, actually. I love this tray. Made in China. Wasn't expecting that. Look at this. Definitely from 1970s. Seal a meal. <laughs> I didn't know they made that back then. $2.99. I'm going to look that up actually. I wonder if it still works. Oh, well, it only sells for about $12 to $15, so I'm not going to bother with that. Because you're going to have to test it and do you want it for yourself? No. Do you have it? No, I'm good. Okay. It's mine. <laughs> In the electronic aisle. A vacuum attachment kit, some VIX. VIX cool moisture. Hmm. It's a humidifier. I wonder how much this goes for. 
It almost looks like it's um, new. I don't know. Look at this cow. That's a door, a door stopper. That's what that is? Yeah. It's vintage. I'm pretty sure. Uh, linen, linen things. things. Never mind. Oh, there's another one. A bear. I don't know. I feel like someone would buy that. The bear and the cow. Ooh. Four dollars. I know, I've been fixing pillows and stuff. Looking for um, some needle point. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, I don't see any. Let's check out the artwork. Some needle point here. What did you find? Oh, it's a dog. Psychedelic. Oh, it is kind of. Trippy. <laughs> uh, what does it say in the bottom? Gifford, 2012. Gone to the dogs. I don't know what kind of art it is. Yeah. Is it like a picture? That's what it looks like. From like a camera? Computer graphics. Ah. <laughs> is that supposed to be a Cali? How much is it? Two ninety nine. Hmm. Put in here. And, yeah, why not? That's that's shippable. Even if we have to take this off. Have some trivets here. Oh, that's heavy. False graph. Nineteen ninety five. April. Made in. Hmm. In springtime, so that's perfect. I didn't know um they made that. Yeah, these are false graph. I already knew that because we have the um plates or mugs. Yeah. I was expecting this to be heavy in that light. <laughs> Spring. Springs. Huh. That's what it is, nature wood. Have some cross stitch. You can always tell it's cross stitch because it looks like an X. I don't know, it's um, maybe that's supposed to be George Washington and that Martha. How much is it? $1.99. I actually don't see too much value in that. Of a bear. Green Hut Galleries in Albany. All right, let's move on. Some of the Easter. Even. Ah. Is that an egg cup? No. That's cute. There's some bunnies up here. JB Bean and Associates. Hand painted porcelain tree. Look, like they have a whole tree. I wonder if it comes with the uh, ornaments. Yeah, it comes with 10 of them. All right, let's put that here. Oh, here's some cruel. That's pretty too. Farm center framing. So it's professionally framed. I like that too. Trinket dish. Oh, 
Ooh, look at the birds. It's a resin. Art line. I thought maybe it lit up. That's the same stuff over here. Yep. Now look at this planner. Uh, $4.99 now. What about this one? Sega form. I thought maybe there would be some Raku or... That's what you usually find in the planners. Alright, I'm looking through everything. Oh, nothing in here. Oh, that is definitely you. <laughs> you look like you're working at a casino. <laughs> Back in the 60s. Actually, who makes that? It feels like... I don't tags cut off. Oh, man. It feels like higher quality. So we're looking through some of the scarves. Michael found this one. Yeah, it's really pretty. Oscar. Um, is that French? Idea. But it's um 100% silk. That's a pretty pattern. And then we found this one, or Michael found this one. New New York Studio, 100% silk. So we're gonna get that. Two ninety nine of them. This one's four ninety nine. Quick look in the children's section. Look at this. Look at this doggy. I still want to find that purring cat. I forget who made it. Texco. But it's all good. I'm trying to figure out what that was. A monkey? I don't know. <laughs> oh, a penguin. That's cute. Like the penguin. All right. Okay, so our total spend was $20. That's all it was, 20? Yeah. Yeah, we had to put back the uh, Made in China, Made in Japan teapot. It had a big crack in it, so make sure you always check mm -hmm. before you check out. Yeah, double make check. Make sure there's no chips and cracks. All right, I think we're gonna head over to the Salvation Army and we'll see you there. Kinda wanna stay outside. All these paintings here last time. Yeah, 1959. I like the swan. The swan is nice. It's 24.99 though. The swan then. Hmm. Oh, what are these? Might have to take those out and see who made them. The knife set. Um, yeah, that doesn't uh, suffer too much. So clean. Hmm. $40. $40. All right. We have all the silverware with the uh, wooden handles. Oh, it's Brazil. Stainless Brazil. Michael, what about these? Stainless uh, Brazil. Mm. For, has a wooden handle. Look, you have all these. It says WF. All right, I'm gonna have to get a cart now. All right, over here we have a pitcher. 
wonder if Mackenzie Child made them. Stripes are just uh, checkered. That's what I thought it was. Hey, we got stuff in my hand. Home trends. What about this uh, charger plate? Mesa International. Oh, it's even signed on the bottom. probably have the whole set. That's disappointing. Oh well. Mm. Yeah, I saw that last time. It doesn't match the saucer. Mm -hmm. These mugs. Tracy Porter hand painted. Those are pretty. It's good for spring. It has some crazy on it. All right, nothing up here. We have a bunny. This. Is that corny? I think so. Um, I forget what that's called. I know, right? Spice Life. Spice Life. Um, 199. It's not bad. I never saw that before, so take a chance. Oh, here's another seal meal. That one looks even older. Same brand too. Let's see what these plates are. They look Italian. Made in Sierra. Hmm. That's that's nice. Michael has a lemon and a floral oh, design. Nice. All right, so I think we're gonna take a chance on these. I looked them up, and this is a good brand to sell. These are two dollars each. So we have three dinner plates. I don't know what this is supposed to be for. A trivet maybe um and then four bowls i'm not sure about the bigger one so i'll put that in i'm gonna look it over for chips perfect for spring in summer spring and summer i would say more summer yeah because the lemon i wish i had a pitcher you can make lemonade i don't know they probably do have one i know they might be here have a watermelon cookie jar. It's kind of weird to have a watermelon in a cookie jar. <laughs> but uh, Crack Shop, California. I don't know, I see like a $25 resale value on that. And then you're missing the lid. Some milk glass. I don't know how long this this has been here for a while. I keep picking it up. <laughs> Some false grass. And there, what's the serving dish? It's a Franciscan. Um, we're gonna leave that one. Yeah, I think so. It's just one dish. More false graph, I believe these are marked on the bottom. Yeah. Um, two dollars each glass though. It's always missing the bottom. I like that. That's a little decanter here. Oh look how cloudy that is. Paul Masson. Is that etched? No. Those are pretty worn. Those are 
Yeah, I was looking at these. I know, right? It has like a texture. Yeah, tennis. Some gold is worn, but. I wonder how old they are. If they're mid century or newer. <laughs> Just because it's worn. Let's see if this figurine is Yadro. West Germany. That's on the base, though. Oh. Um, $7.99. Gerald Porcelain Bavaria. Oh, $7.99. Oh, we'll look it up and see if it's worth it before we spend $8. So I put it in here and we look it up later. How about oil and vinegar over here? It's only a dollar. Made in Japan, so most likely vintage and has a mid-century look that's oh, missing a stopper I mean, it's only a dollar each you have a crack there is, is that crazy can't really tell what is that look oh uh, lacquered box. Um, lacquered box you yeah, made in india $3.99. That's a bigger one. I never saw the bigger one. What's that? Hmm. I don't know if that matters. I don't really think so. What about the outside, though? Good. Hmm. Get that. A couple little... Yeah, it's normal with those. Four dollars? Yeah, for a bigger one. Have this hand-painted napkin holder and salt and pepper what about this one it's a wall yeah not too much <laughs> resale value on that i never seen it in the package before. i know right any cool mugs dunkin donuts that one feels, this feels like restaurant wear. It's heavy. 2008. 50. Something over here. What about this red mug? Let's say no to that. Frank Lloyd Wright, year 2000. Hmm. I never heard of that brand. It's a dollar. All right, what are these down here? This little wheat pattern with a gold rim. Empress China, Golden Harvest, Japan. Eh. Look at this picture down here. It kind of looks like crystalline. That's a foil art. Hmm. I like that. It's pretty. That would look good in a bathroom. Especially now since the style is grays and white. The blue would look perfect with it. I want to look at this covered dish. $5.99. Uh, no markings. Feels like aluminum. What about this house? Michael, what about this casserole dish? Is it corning? I never saw the black before. Oh, it's in Kerhocking. Hmm. I wonder. I mean, it's twelve ninety nine, so... Something I never saw before. We're gonna have to look that up. All right, well, it sells for about $14. That's the black wheat pattern. Now these say England. Sailors fa Farewell. Fairwinds. Permanent color, Staffordshire, England. Is that the same? It says England. New York State Seal. I don't know. I'm gonna put these in too. 
Actually, it doesn't sell for too much. Ah. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, Otagiri. I would say that's Otagiri. Probably had a sticker on there. I like that. Look at the design. It goes in there. Down here, I know this is a good brand. Right? It's just a craft made in Germany. Let's see what it looks like inside. If it was actually used or if it's still new. Oh, it looks new to me. Alright. I know their coffee makers sell for over a hundred bucks. So I wonder how much craft goes for. So I noticed a vintage blouse with um, the shoulder pads still in it. Are you going to wear it? <laughs> I think I'm going to get it. it has new, it's new with a tag. Look at the original um, price. Five dollars. <laughs> What's the name of the store? And now they're selling James it Way. James Way. Oh, that's kind of cool. It has the original price tag. I think I'll get that. Does it smell? No. I don't see any rips or stains. They'll be a cool item to sell, so mm. look at that. I think we're going to head out, but we have all the dishes and the mug, Spice of Life, and the trinket box, and this beautiful vintage shirt. Can't wait to list it. All right, I would say we got some pretty good items yeah. at City Mission and Salvation Army, all those plates. <laughs> um, what was the total spend here? 20. That was all 20? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll 17 of 20. <laughs> all right, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.